just as a, a, a background, I'm, I'm a trained as a developmental biologist, so I used to work on the, the wind pathway, on the TGF beta pathway, and on the BMP pathways. Um, and I was on the track uh, for a prototypical academic career. But at a certain point in time, I really wanted to make this move to try to identify within those pathways, can we use those pathways as, as the prism to look at, at drug discovery. What we learned over the last five to ten years um, from studies in human genetics is that um, many individual genes can be mutated um, in, for instance, in cancer. But ultimately the effect um, of an individual mutation um, is not what is the right level for us in, in drug discovery. Um, it is to look at the complement of proteins that exert a common function. So how does the complement of proteins, where individual proteins or genes can actually be mutated, how should we look at that complement of proteins to identify which of the nodes is the best tractable node? So that's the prism for us um, to look at, uh, at it from a drug discovery perspective. Which of the proteins in such, such signal selection pathways lend itself to um, chemical modulation, mostly inhibition. So in that sense, I think it's very gratifying for myself because that was actually the reason why I left academia initially to go to biotech and from biotech um, jumped into um, the Comitant of Artists.